Live at 7 with Jessica Moore and Jim Snyder. This is News 3. I want to take you back now to a story we are all talking about today and will be for the next week. More now on the possibility of a government shutdown. We've talked about how it could affect federal workers and the people who rely on them. And now we want to look at the potential impact on your investments. We are joined in the studio by Audrey J. Batiste. He's a certified financial planner and he's also president of the Financial Planning Association of Nevada. Thanks for coming on. Oh, yes, sir. Thanks for having me. So, JV, we were talking right before we went on here. You made a great statement. Everyone is going to be affected differently. T t talk to us about that. H how is this going to affect our average viewer? Sure. Well, when you look at it from a perspective of middle income uh, households, certainly there's going to be an impact uh, when you look at their investments, particularly given last week's uh, run up in the market, yeah, especially yeah, with uh, definitely a great week, an all time high. And so it's a matter of not only staying the course, but I think for most middle income households, it's a matter of looking at their investments. I I call it contingent rebalancing, where you want to focus on your highs and your lows, and then you want to make adjustments accordingly. All right. When we talk about the impact on our economy, people go, oh, it's Washington spending. Maybe it doesn't affect me. But the fact is, there are a lot of people here in Nevada who earn a paycheck from the federal government, and they might not be getting those paychecks. That's correct. And so certainly, what should they be doing? Uh, looking at their spending. Uh, cash flow is a critical component of uh, one's financial well-being, and so you want to assess your spending. Uh, certainly, there are some non-negotiables that you have to figure out. Your mortgage, uh, you know, putting food on the table. So ultimately, there's going to be some trade-offs families are going to have to make. It's that time of year when college students and parents are putting together paperwork for financial aid applications. Do you foresee a government shutdown affecting things like Pell Grants, and how should families prepare ahead for that? Well, definitely. When you look at the Department of Education, they have the responsibility uh, for the FAFSA and assisting throughout, you know, Pell Grants, uh, you know, federally uh, funded student loan mm -hmm. programs. And so there's going to be potentially a slowdown in the processing, uh, you know, student loan paperwork applications, definitely. And bottom line, I guess, our economy, you know, is recovering, but more slowly than anyone would have liked. So in, in terms of getting America to come here and spend their money, any uncertainty out there about the American economy as a whole is not a good thing for us. Well, it's location, location, location. And when you look at what's transpired in the Las Vegas Valley over the past few years, um, the mortgage debacle, mm -hmm. um, interest rates have slightly gone up mm -hmm. since the spring. And so the short sale process. Mm -hmm. Mortgage Debt Relief Act is scheduled to expire at the end of the year. So that presents some additional challenges in addition to uh, this impending uh, government shutdown. Mm. Okay, JB, thank you so much for your time and uh, maybe we'll call on you again if it becomes yes. relevant and needed. Thank you for having me. Appreciate Absolutely. it coming in. Yes.